basically that's section 77. We have a lot of judgment that the both the tribunal, the appeal court, have reversed. Look at that of Amor Yoga. It was also based on the same section 77. Look at that of Obia Gotcha. Look at that of uh, uh, Ginger Mosina. Even the most recently, the judgment of the Labour Party candidate in Delta State. It's also predicated and based on this section 77. And we have the total of judgment that is saying that the lower court and the appellate court don't have jurisdiction over party internal affairs. We keep wondering where did this particular judge got this power to do what he has just done? When we are sure, we trust wholly the judiciary to give us fairness, accurate justice. We are so sure, we trust what most of them have because they've, they've changed and they've returned our hope by what they did with Amor the other. And I'm sure they will do a lot of other things. If you look at the judgment given by the tribunal here, too many of them didn't even go that direction because they know it was outside their jurisdiction. But one wonder why this particular judge that handled the Dalit and Okoja's matter and Jinja almost about that will go a long way to get this kind of judgment which was smuggled in and it is based on this that we are demanding we are demanding as a party that this particular judge should give us immediately that judgment we need if we need today to the to detail of that judgment let's get the detail of that judgment so that we know if what he told us, what he said, even when he has revised himself, if what he told us will stand anywhere. So we are demanding that before the end of today, let that judgment, detail of that judgment, be released to us. And we are also sure that judgment that is going to come out of this will give us exactly what we know. You know, nobody believe in the first place a cop on himself, and a cop on him. He didn't even, nobody knew he was in the ballot. Nobody knew he was in the ballot. How can you just come and change what the people want? And they start giving us exactly what you imagine in your brain. So it is not on that we are saying no to this. Let judgment, let the right judgment be given to us. Let justice be made on this particular one. You may also want to know that this same matter, that day, that day alone, the, the first case on the list for judgment was the Akobondo and Darlington Eliners. And the Labour Party, they said we breached Section 77. This same Section 77, like I mentioned earlier, cannot in any way stop any of us and the only candidate we have the only i will have and then you use whatever you fabricated in your brain as a judge when we have very decent jurists we have very sound uh, uh, justices who have been doing justice to uh, 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 cases why should this one be the person who after giving defense in the next 10 minutes reverse yourself and we're saying no since all the judgment of that day was based on section 77. He should also revise himself again and then bring back. Of course, we, we know that uh, Darlington has not been removed because if he had been removed, there's no how he reverse himself. So, since he revised himself, as to say, Darlington Bokocha remain our only senator in Abia Central. And I think that is the stand of the Labour Party. And we stand by this, demanding that the judge himself who delivered this judgment should before the end of today release unto us the detail of this judgment so that we study it and know what to do. Gentlemen, that is why I gather you here so that Abians, Nigerians and the entire world will see the kind of judgment that this lawyer or this judge has given to us in the Labour Party. And we are very, very grateful that the judiciary himself have been firm in doing the right thing. And I know this is one of the things that we'll find out how they are going to resolve it. Thank you very much. Thank you.